What up, my dudes? How are y'all doing this morning? So today is Thursday, January the 4th, and I'm going to take you guys along with me as I go to load in for Anime Raleigh. Today is load in. I go in for load in um, from 2 to 2.30, 2.45. I'm an exhibitor, so I get 45 minutes to um, unload. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take you with me as I set up today. I'm just uh, working on a little bit of line art for a piece that I'm working on. Uh, last night, I did two more sitting bees and I did two more standing axolotls. So, I did four more um, animals last, last night. Um, and I have tagged them and labeled them and they are in the trailer everything is loaded into the trailer and it is ready to go i just need to lock the side door um and hook the truck up to the trailer and then i'll be ready to go for today so hopefully it won't take me too too long to do the load in because i didn't have anybody coming over today to feed the animals so if i if it takes me too long then they're gonna be like bitch <laughs> what the hell our dinner is late when I get home, but it is what it is. So, um, I've got my son Devin coming over tomorrow to feed them dinner because it's 2 to 8 tomorrow. So, I will feed them breakfast myself. And then he's coming back on Saturday to grab Bubby and do breakfast and dinner. And then my son Damon is going to do Sunday breakfast and dinner and grab Bubby. So, yeah. Anyways. That's all I know about that. I'll get everything ready for Bubby to leave tomorrow. Um, ready this evening when I get back in. I'm probably just going to do some art today. Um, when I get back home, I like to just relax before the first day of a con. So if I feel like doing some art, that's probably what I do. But I, I don't think I will crochet anything. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. And then I'll, I'll do some art or whatever tomorrow. Uh, before I go in I still will go in early tomorrow it turns out that my shelves instead of being delivered tomorrow like I thought they were going to be they're going to be delivered today so when they come in I'll probably take them with me tomorrow in case there's things that I want to rearrange because I'm gonna go ahead and say there's probably some things that I'm gonna want to rearrange on the plushie wall tomorrow but yeah that's gonna take care of that um I'm excited. I hope this weekend goes well. I've got cups being delivered today. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, I got all kinds of stuff being delivered. I, I'm going to put Bubby up in my room today uh, when I leave out until when I come back. So it's 1140-ish right now. And at 1215, I'm going to put him inside. I'm going to go hook up my trailer. I'm going to go get everything ready. I've got an order that needs to ship out, but I need to go get a priority mail envelope to ship that out. So I need to take care of that um, on my way out today. And then I'm going to get to the convention center right at probably just before two so that I can get loaded in, get all this stuff out. Hopefully not break any nails because this is where I tend to rip all of my natural nails off, which is why I went for tips because I was tired of seeing my natural nails in just complete disarray or whatever. So I've already almost ripped this one off this morning, slipping on a wet surface because nods, huh? if you saw the previous vlog, then you know what nods is doing. Um, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me with wet, slippery spots in the freaking house. So, I already tried to rip this one off this morning. But, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, everybody stays intact today. And moving is not that much of a stress. Um, I want to see, hopefully, they have, like, those larger um, rolly carts there. Like, the other convention centers have. Because it is going to be a pain in the ass. If I have to roll everything out on my little one. But, you know, we do what we do. Uh, so, we'll see how that works out. I'm really curious to see how the, um, the load-in is sort of situated. Like, the load-in docks are situated in, um, in this convention center. Because I've never been to this one before. So, we'll see. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I think it is underground load-in dock. Which makes me nervous. Because, uh... <laughs> I'm not, I'm still not great at backing up, so, yeah, I may have to get some assistance from somebody at some point, but yeah. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go back to doing this. I got about 30 more minutes before I get ready to go. And um, yeah, I'll take you with me to set up and then I'll show you what we're looking like before before I leave this evening. All right, so we just got in. It took over an hour and 45 minutes to actually check in. I'm recording on my phone. Look, look at what I'm beside. So I found my booth. It is right outside of Artist Alley, which is, which is a little bit convenient for me, I guess. I'm like, it would be a corner if this big ass thing wasn't here. And I don't know technically if I'm allowed to block this thing, but I paid for three walls and I'm gonna have three walls. So um, my booth space looks like it may, it may be wide enough that I don't have to block that, but I'll show you, I'll show you what we're looking like here. And then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get my stuff. All right, so that's what the booth is looking like. So, um, that thing is right next to us. So this is, this is my space. So I don't know, we'll see how it works out. Um, but I'm gonna go start loading in. All right, so I have logged literally everything in here and moved my vehicle to a paid parking lot that I didn't pay for and um, not sure how to pay for. Uh, walked all the way around the building to to get back in here because you couldn't walk back through the loading dock loading dock because freaking heaven forbid you walk back through there. Um, there's like an amphitheater or something back there and I guess for security reasons they don't want you walking behind the amphitheater but whatever. Anyways, I pulled my coochie. I just pulled it. I pulled my coochie I think. Um, trying to go up the little ramp hill thingy. I need a definite like big sexy booth babe to lug my shit around for me and then I could just be in here making it pretty. That's the way I want to roll. Um, I'm not there yet but that's the way I, I, would, I would prefer to roll. So. I'm gonna see what I can do with this booth space. I'm gonna set you across the thing since they are not here yet. And um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna try not to injure my coochie anymore because she hurts, that she hurts. Like right in, right there, she hurts. I didn't really hurt my coochie coochie, but it's close enough, it's close enough.
few Wait, hold up, is this a meat cue? Oh my god, like Rachel McAdams in the notebook Cause I keep on staring and the whole world stops Theme song is playing Just a Friday night, but it feels like the start of the rest of my life
what's up you guys so I am going to walk you through our booth tell me we haven't come a ways in a year right so this space was a little bit bigger and so I sort of made a big open walkway I'm gonna sit on this side right here that's where I'm gonna put my checkout stand and everything I figure I'll walk you through it I'll put all of my price tags up tomorrow and I will put all the lights which are charging at home right now um, on all of the cups and light them up really nice got all the little keychains hiding out over here we have got the new mirror in place sat right in the middle which worked out perfectly so people can get a free sticker if they follow us on social media tomorrow I need to make that sign first thing in the morning but we're gonna look over this way we've got some more of our tote bags we got tote bags over there we got our stickers we've got some mystery bags as well so here is the front um, I put one of each of the mouse mats that I have out here Got our sad little candy box. I need to, I need to get some more candy. Um, then we have portfolio sitting here. So if people want a print, they can have a print. I'm gonna bring my things in tomorrow and get the original set up. And then my new cash register box is gonna sit right there. So yeah, I will give y'all a once over. But. We are set up. I've got my little checkout stand back here with all the bags. So, yeah. Here we go. We are ready and set for Anime Raleigh. Here's a bird's eye view of everybody setting up. Artist Alley is way back there in the back by the restrooms. Fender Hall. Looks like we've got food trucks down there. Yeah, everybody. He's getting things ready to go, and the K-13 wall, that K-13 wall, there we are, right there. So, I'm going to show you what I finished yesterday. And now it's time to zhuzh it up and make it bright and inviting. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wait until they open the doors to turn on the lights, but I've got all of my pricing tagged up. We're all ready to go. Everything is ready here. I added in my last minute items. So we had this little dragon dude. Um, we had, oh shit, now I don't even know. Oh, this little cow, the little dungaree cow. I added that one in. And there was one more that I don't remember, but that's okay. So, this is what the size is like. I need a sticker for that. So, I'm going to have to put, um, make up a sticker for the stickers. Oh my goodness, a sticker for the stickers, a price tag for the stickers. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to pretty much do it. Everything is looking good. I've got a little setup right here with... And the new register it didn't hook up to my print um my square terminal but that's okay i don't need it to i just need to pop it open um so that it comes forward and set it up so now this is like a little checkout stand so yeah i'm giving away freebies um and i'm gonna set me up here i think um i don't know if i'll switch it um during the day sometime but I am going to um, be drawing in whatever downtime that I have so I've got some cutesy little things that I need to finish up anyways this is what the back is looking like all of my bags for my cups and my straws are down there in the orange tote I've got extra um, tote bags down here um, extra labels down there price tags so I'm gonna grab one of those and do the sticker thing um, but yeah this is pretty much this is pretty much my, my setup for day one. So um, I think it opens in just over an hour, right at an hour. Yep, hour and four minutes. It opens at two today. So we're two to eight today, 10 to eight tomorrow, and 10 to six the following day. So, all right, here we go. Day one. All right, here we go. We are 111, last check-in. Um, somebody literally just came up to me and said, um, oh my god, I watch your YouTube videos. I'm like, oh my god. Um, that's never happened before, so I love you. I love you. I 
I forgot your name. I had so in the middle of it, and I'm going to go and find you, and I'm going to grab one of your cards so I can check you out later. But um, thank you so much for coming up to me. That was so sweet. Um, that was so crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know what to say when people say that. So. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. So we are about 45 minutes out and I have everything set up, everything ready to go. I just need to turn on my lights and then we will be good to go. I'm going to set up my iPad. I think I'm going to go ahead and start plugging some of my stuff in. Um, I'm going to make a wee break before before everything starts up so that um, I'm all on empty because we're going to six hours here and I'm by myself. So, yeah. There's a lot of people, a lot of other vendors coming up and talking about how cute my stuff is and how um, uh, how much they like my booth. So uh, that's really, really flattering as well. I'm still sort of awkward talking when people sort of pass by um, because I look like I'm sitting here talking to myself and I'm definitely talking to an inanimate object, but you know, it is what it is. Anyhow, um, hopefully. Hopefully we have a fantastic day one and um, there are a bunch of shoppers so we are toward the back I'm um, actually like on the back of the vendor hall people are gonna come in where I gave you the bird's eye view in the last video people are gonna come through there and down the escalators and then they're gonna come through this way um, but we'll see how they sort of cycle through um, and see if I I think you're good on all angles. If you come in this way, you get the cups. If you come in this way, you get... Jesus, there's a person right there. Scared the shit out of me. There's like a big barrier right there. And then, out of nowhere, person. Anyway, huh. <laughs> That's the people on the other side of my booth. Um, anyways. Oh, yeah, if you come in this way, you see the tote bags and the stickers and anything that you pass by, you see all the all the plushy wall. I think the plushy wall came together really, really nicely. Uh, I'm always worried. I'm always worried that I'm not going to have enough stuff. And that's because um, I usually only have the bins and the, the little buckets, or not the... Not the buckets. I only usually have those bins up at the top, and I always feel like it feels a little sparse. Um, like I don't have enough stuff to do a big weekend or something like that. And so I was really, really nervous with adding the two shelf units and the thing with the bins in it, um, the little toy organizer thing. I'm like, there's no way, no way that this is gonna look full. But I'm actually really, really proud of myself. I am. It looks really, really full and it looks it doesn't look cluttered it just looks it just looks full now the downside is that is the entirety of my stock for the um for the plushies but at the same time i want that stock to sell so i, I don't need to replace it with anything um and i think we've got a good selection of stuff for sure so yeah We'll see how this weekend goes and see what's popular. I have no idea. I think the chickens are going to be popular and I think the possums are going to be popular, but they always are. Um, if I had to pick something that wasn't a chicken, a turtle, or a or an opossum to be popular this weekend, I'm going to say that I think the little happy octos with the cutesy faces and the tongue sticking out. I think those might be a, a really popular item, or at least I hope so. I made a shit ton of them, so I hope that they are. I mean, there's certain things that are always good sellers. Always good sellers are bees. Always good sellers are mushrooms, turtles, opossums, chickens. Those are always good sellers. So I'm trying to pick something that is not one of those to sort of, sort of highlight. Oh, and the little worry octos and the mini chunky frogs, the $5 items, um, those are always popular with the kiddos. So I didn't want to count that as one of the predictions. So yeah, I'm going to go with happy octos with googly eyes and um, funny faces that are going to be popular this go round. And let's see, I think that the Stitch Cup, the Baby Yoda Cup, and in tumbler and in 
glass are going to go well. My bitch be gums always do well. I've got six here now, and I'm waiting on my cups. My cups were supposed to be delivered last night, but they freaking weren't. Um, they didn't arrive, um, so now they're out for delivery again, which is fine as long as they actually come because I'm out of cups. Um, and I need to go home and, and replace things if necessary. But I think that the Stitch and Baby Yoda will do good in both versions. I think that those are going to be um, the most popular designs this weekend for that. But we'll see. They're also the holographic ones. So that's something new that we have. Um, but yeah, that's what I think is going to be popular. And we'll see how things go. I think that I've got everything that I need. I always feel like I'm forgetting stuff, but I don't think I am. Um, yeah, hopefully um, we have good weekends. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for the weekend. I'm so stressed though because if we have a really good weekend, <laughs> if we have a really good weekend, I have got to kick ass in making new stock between now and next Wednesday for a load in at Ichiban Con in Concord. So. Um, I'm not worried about so much this sublimation because I can do all my sublimation in one day, but I am worried about the number of plushies that I might have to replace if we have a really good weekend here. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, okay, that's enough of me talking for seven minutes right now. Um, I am going to go have my pee break and then I am going to make sure my water bottle is full and uh, get ready to go for day one. Oh, my coochie's better today. If anybody, um, I pulled my coochie, I pulled my coochie in the, in the last video. Yesterday I pulled my coochie, trying to go up the hill with the heavy shit, but I feel better today, just in case anybody was wondering. She's good, she's good. <laughs> wandering around um, looking so we've had a lot a lot of looking but we've got our first sale down and um, now we're just we're waiting for more but it looks great and we it's not really it's not really as busy as I thought it might be um, I heard somebody walking past talk about something something got canceled I don't know maybe a guest speaker or something canceled on them um, but yeah, we'll see what the crowd looks like. It is a Friday. It is a three o'clock on a Friday So we definitely got a ways to go and people will start getting off work very very soon And we'll probably trickle in after that. So we'll see how it goes Alright you guys six o'clock check-in. I don't know if you can sort of see behind me, but this is what This is what we're sort of looking like as far as traffic is concerned. It is so I'll we'll show you here. Yeah, there's not really anybody here at all. Um, it did not improve after five o'clock. It is not good. Um, everybody's pretty much just standing around. So it is what it is. Alright you guys, it is day two. We are going to wipe day one from our memories. It was dead, dead. Really slow yesterday. Really slow. The sales were bad. Anyways, um, we're hoping for a better day today. They were calling for a big storm and it's not really storming. It's just raining. There are people waiting outside, which is always a good sign. Um, even in the rain, so hopefully that line got a lot longer after I got in here. I got in here just after nine We're just gonna hope that today is a better day because yesterday was really bad um, Just really slow. So I got some work done. I got a couple of new stickers done a couple new pieces. I turned Pachita into a um, voodoo doll and I turned a bunch of other characters into voodoo dolls. I worked on one of my Valentine's Day items. If you're on my Patreon, you get to see all of that stuff because it's posted in the Discord. But yeah, we're gonna hope today is a better day. I'm gonna go find another battery because your battery is dead now. And there is, there are hairs on my, on my lens. Damn the dogs. Damn them all to hell sometimes. I love them, but damn them. I'm gonna clean you up. 
and get you a fresh battery. All right, what's up you guys? I haven't really recorded much of anything today. I'm having a really weird day. I'm having, I don't know, imposter syndrome. I'm not good enough. Uh, woe is me. Look, listen. Woe as me freaking pity party today. I don't roar and I can't shake it. But yeah, I'm having a rough day. I'm going to give you a little glance of what's going on. We're just not doing it. It's just not happening today for us. Um, and I have absolutely no problem being real with you guys and telling you guys that it's just been a shit show. Um, it's just been a little bit slow. Um, the chickens are going. Everybody loves a good squishy chicken. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But, you know, it is what it is. I've also sort of decided that what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of the repeating patterns. What the hell is that? There's an announcement or something happening. Who knows? Anyways, I'll try to drown it out. Holy crap, that's a lot loud noise. Anyways, I'm going to maybe leave the repeating patterns only on my website and I am going to move towards these designs instead because I like these better and I am trying to distance myself from other creators so I just I mean I love the repeating patterns I made them I should love them but I just I don't know anyways like I was saying um I, I hate people walk into the booth that I'm trying to talk because then I get all self-conscious and then I can't talk anymore but um yeah I'm going to do away with the repeating patterns and I'm going to go to the front only I have to point in different directions because you see different on the camera. But yeah, I'm going to go to the, the the big design instead of the repeating patterns. I'm going to do some different sorts of characters as well. So I think I'm going to start adding in a little bit of the things that I was drawing this weekend where they're popular characters but turned into the voodoo dolls. I've been talking about that for a while, so... I might do that. Um, I made our little mushroom, our little voodoo mushroom, a girlfriend this weekend. So that was new. Let me see if I can just face you out this way and you can see what the crowd is looking like. It's like seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. So it has definitely winded down from today. Today was a little bit busier than yesterday was. It still wasn't like stellar, stellar, but I mean, we take what we can get right. There's some super cute cosplays, but yeah. So I am going to try and make sure that my stuff is as different as possible. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I just, I don't want to be compared to other people. And so I'm going to tell you, it's like every time I come out with a design, they come out with a design. Anyways, yeah, cosplayers just walked in and I felt bad talking talking again oh god i've got to get over that anyways i just every time i come out with a, a different design i feel like they come out with a, a, the same design but in their style and i just I don't want my stuff to be the same as anybody else's i want my stuff to be different so maybe having a different take on those characters will do something different maybe not repeating the pattern um and doing the fronts only will have that effect um I do like that we've added the holographic cups this week. I'm pointing and you can't even, or this, this convention, I'm liking that we've added in holographic. So I've got holographic in the Kiki's delivery service and Baby Yoda and Stitch. And I want to add some more holo designs to that. Um, people really seem to like those. Um, but yeah. I think maybe do some Pokemon. Some Pokemon might do well at these two. I don't think that I've seen a whole lot of Pokemon cups. I don't want to do a whole lot of Disney. I know I've got a couple of Disney fan arts up there, but I don't want to do a whole lot of Disney because I'm here. So I'm not shooting people's asses. Um, you know, I don't want the mouse to come after me. And yeah, so I just want... I want things that look different, not like anybody else's. I'm trying, right now, I'm trying to um, pull it together, scribbles here. 
Um, anyways, I am trying to uh, figure out how I'm going to narrow this down into an 8 by 8 space. I think I've got it figured out. I just played with the microphone. I'm sorry. Um, I think I've got it figured out what I want to do. Um, I'm going to add some cubes up at the top and put my totes, my mouse mats, and my prints up there along the, the top of things. I'm going to do the three things here. I'm going to have three panels going this way with the sticker thing in the middle and then mystery bags on either side of it. And then I'm going to do the plushy wall. So I'm, I'm hoping that that all fits neatly in the 8x8 space um, without looking too cluttered. I think I'm going to take the apparel down and I'm going to put it on the website and the shop um, and not put it in the 8x8 space. I don't think it really goes that well. Um, in that space, uh, it just takes up a whole lot of room and I'm going to need that room because it's tiny. It's tiny. So that's where I stand right now. Like I said, I've been, I've been ugh, having just the oogiest day. I just, and it's just in my head. It's, it's not like we're not making sales or anything. It's not like we're not doing okay. I mean, we're doing okay. Um, it's not the busiest convention I've ever been to, but it's not the slow it will. Let's put a pin in that. Let's put a pin in that. <laughs> Let's put a pin in that. No, I think, honestly, I think that Vera City was the slowest. Yeah, that was dead, dead. Um, I think this might, might beat that out. So I don't think it's the slowest. Um, but yeah, this is me rounding out day two, coming back for one more day and hopefully the imposter syndrome will get left in the freaking house. So, <laughs> we're just going to leave that shit at home tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe I didn't get to sleep. Maybe I need to sleep. It's hard to say. I'm crazy. I can just be crazy. I'm crazy. It's fine. So, I'm just going to talk without my mic for right now because there's not a lot of noise. I am trying my best to detangle my twinkle lights. I've got a battery pack charging at one of my booth neighbors' booths. They said they didn't mind. So, I forgot to charge the battery pack and I forgot that these twinkle lights do not take batteries like I thought. These twinkle lights take a battery pack. They plug into a USB. So... I'm just trying to figure out how to get them loose. <laughs> how to get them loose. I know that we had the individual strands taped back up uh, uh, on themselves, but I've just got to detangle the bits in between so that I can spread them out and hopefully light up my tumblers a little bit better today because I just felt like they were dark and gloomy yesterday. So. I did restock my Bitch Be Gone cups. We sold out of those yesterday. We sold every one of them yesterday, I think. I don't think we sold one the day before, which was shocking, but we didn't sell anything the day before, so not too terribly shocking considering that fact. Um, holy shit. You guys, this is a clusterfuck. Oh. even know why I care so much about what people think I mean I'm pretty much over it in my everyday life like I don't care what people think about me but for some reason when it comes to talking on this camera when people walk past me or walk, walk up behind me I feel like a looney tune because there's nobody standing here um, I don't know what makes that any different considering the fact that I talk to myself without the camera um, so go figure I don't know what that, that is. I'm trying to get over it, though. I try to keep talking for as long as my little anxiety button can take. 
before I stop talking until they walk past. So, yeah, this should be fun. This looks like fun. Um, did anybody not do this at Christmas? Because if you want to come and help me now and get your fix in until next Christmas, that would be great. <sighs> it's just one big tangle of mess. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm just gonna fight with this and I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through it with me. So, I'm gonna see if I can't get this untangled. All right, you guys, here we go. So I did a little shuffle around. I did a little restock. I put all of my stickers back up. Um, I restocked all my Beats Be Gone's, made sure everything was facing the right way. I did a little shuffle here. Um, I put my opossums up here, the big ones, instead of down here. I'm trying to give them a little bit more focus. Um, I put all my chickens down here. Um, I shuffled out some mushrooms up there which I just made blurry um, I've got my cows over here and I put my dragons down here to fill this bin um, I think that might be all I moved around yeah so this is what we're looking like let me back up and I'll give you the full pan all right so here we go day three last day I hiked all this stuff up the hill just to find out that the damn loading dock was open and I didn't have to load all this shit up the hill but that's besides the point it's done now so lesson learned anyway um, I will give you some updates hopefully during the day today I'm gonna plug in my lights in just a second um, I've got my battery pack still charging until the last second so we'll see what happens hopefully they just light up and make it pretty all right you guys it is about 4 30 so we've got about an hour and a half left i just figured i'd give you a little update since i haven't really done any updates today um i'm feeling a lot better by the way i'm feeling a lot better um we've got one last stitch cup i've got one last sprite cup karomi karomi down here I'm working on some new designs. I got a new Pokemon ones going. Well, one last cow cup. We sold out of the pink bitch be gums. And let's see. Oh, one last kitty cemetery. One last pink monster. So those are that. This is what the keychains and the plushy walls are looking like. So a lot of random little plushies so we sold a couple of stingrays a voodoo doll we sold a few different kinds of things some chicken nuggets today that have gone as well i'm giving away some totes we are out of the crafting because murder is wrong totes we are out of the um i'm fine kitty totes i had to unpack i had to unpack some totes don't ask me why i packaged packages um, like I packaged totes up before and so now I've sort of just um, Unfolded them and put them up because I still have this stack over here that I'm gonna have to take out I don't know why that just oh We zoomed I didn't mean to zoom but that stack right there. I still need to sort of unpack We sold some crewnecks today. I'm gonna list these on the shop um, and these on the shop and they're just gonna be in the shop from now on so I did that um, yeah, that's it for now. I think I've got two days worth of um, restock that I can do. So Monday and Tuesday, maybe some Wednesday as far as the plushies are concerned because I am going to have to load in either Wednesday or Thursday at Ichiban Kana. I'm not sure if there is a Wednesday load in or if you load in Thursday before the show, which is not good for me. If they do, I will have to rethink literally everything that i'm doing but anyways it's been a decent day too it's a lot less crowded in here which you'll be able to sort of tell and sort of see i'll sort of pan around everybody's sort of winding down now and everything is like easing up so just give you a little a little pan into artist alley some people. Ooh, look at that cosplay. She looks great. Oh. <laughs> I gotta ask, how long does it take to make 
Uh, the bath mat took me about seven and a half hours. Thank you so much. Yeah, that one I think is the most detailed one that I have right now and the one that took me the longest to take uh, to make. Um, I think Tinker Tinkerbell took me about seven. So she's next in line. <laughs> I don't think I've spent more than three hours on any of the other big ones. Thank you so much. So, here we go. That's my update for now. I'll wrap up the show soon too. Well, this is always a good sign. This is a great, this is a great sight. I love this. This is fantastic. Thank you all. Oh. All right, what up, my dudes? I am back. It is a week and a half ish after the convention. It is Thursday, January the 18th. So, yeah, a week and a half, almost two weeks since I've been back from Animate Raleigh. I am cutting out some of my signs that have needed to be cut out for a while. So, I figured that while I was doing that, I would chat to you guys about my thoughts on Animate Raleigh. Um, Overall, the booth space that I got was great. I absolutely loved having that much space. It was it was really nice. I didn't mind being next to the column um, because that meant that I could spread out a little bit. I felt like we got pretty decent traffic. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we did really well at the show itself. Um, I think that it could have been better but that's just me doubting myself um, and having that down day and other reasons like I mentioned in the um, in the video itself. So there is a lot of comparison between me and another artist. Um, we have similar items for sale. We have similar styles. Um, we have similar um, designs. Um, they, are, they are completely different but they're similar in theme let me go with that they're similar in theme and similar in character so i do a bunch of sanrio characters um because i find that sanrio characters are really really popular um so i have got a lot of those um i have got some spirited away stuff i've got you know just popular sort of sort of things like that well so does this other artist and their designs are beautiful and I wish them all the luck in the world. But I have found that it is probably hedging both of our sales. Um, I think that their sales would probably be more um, if we were less similar. I think my sales would probably be more if they were less similar. So it's almost like um, a trade off. Which which artist do you buy from, you know? And I don't want that. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for them. Um, I want my designs to stand out because they're different than everybody else's. So, um, a couple of ways that I plan on remedying this is to move away from the repeating pattern idea and go with the um, larger full character on, on the front and possibly some design elements on the sides and the back. But I think I'm going to go away from the repeating patterns and go towards that. So that's one way that I can differentiate myself from this other, other person. Um, my crochet differentiates me definitely because I don't find that a whole lot of people do what I do. Um, a lot of people there make popular characters. Um, and I've seen several that use plush yarn, but I've seen several that use acrylic yarn as well. So usually generally speaking that's that stands out um so i'm not worried about that um i got so many comments on how aesthetically pleasing my booth was which i was in love with my booth it was it was very nicely laid out i was really happy with that um and it makes me really happy when people say that come by and go you've got the cutest booth in the entire convention i'm like Thank you. Thank you so much because I've been working hard on that. And I have spent a lot of money to get my booth to where it is now. And I definitely want it to be worth it and want people to recognize how much effort I have put into making my booth look that good. So, yeah. Um, 
overall i'll have to go back and i'll have to look at the sales we definitely profited it was a slow it was a pretty slow con for us um people wise it was really slow i heard that mentioned a lot um it's a first year a lot of people didn't know about it a lot of people didn't know what it was in comparison to the galaxy cons that they know so well um so i think it was pretty decent for a first year i am definitely going to um sign back up for next year i did not do that before i left the convention um just because i had other things that i needed to spend my money on and so i'll be signing up for that later on um probably in the next month or so um the applications for animate by the way are officially live so anybody who wants to um, participate next year which will be january 3rd through january 5th on that weekend anybody who wants to participate in that can sign up now the um applications are public so i think that it will do better next year i think that it will probably be better attended i don't know how many um returning artists are going to come back but i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it I, I was a little, it was a little slow, but we made, we made decent profit. we would made decent money and I had a freaking blast and that's all that matters really. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you my last few thoughts. Um, I have got to record my thoughts on, um, Ichiban Con here in just a few minutes. So I, if you see me cutting out these, same, <laughs> these same things, um, in that video, yeah. That's because I filmed the two reviews back to back. But how about let's drop um, a blue heart, blue heart down in the comments today. Let me know what you thought of this convention. Let me know what you thought of this vlog. Um, next up is the Ichiban Con vlog. I didn't do, um, I didn't record like a, a Con Crunch video for that because I literally had two days. I had Monday and Tuesday, and then I was done. I had some on Wednesday, but it was crazy. So, um, yeah, Animate was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I had Monday, Tuesday, and part of Wednesday to prep everything and get everything restocked. And then on Wednesday, I loaded in, and that was followed immediately by um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday convention days. So... It was a busy couple of weeks. It's a busy um, It's going to be a busy weekend for me this weekend as well because I am doing a local market this weekend when it's supposed to be the coldest that it has been ever. Um, so far this winter is the day, of course, that I am going to. I am going to be outside in it. Bubby appearance. Here's your bubby appearance. Thank you. So. I love your face so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I got some exciting new stuff coming up that I can't wait to share with you. Um, a lot of my content right now is going to be, oh, excuse me. A lot of my content right now is probably going to be convention content um, and some studio vlogs and some crochet vlogs like it usually is. Um, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Yeah, I don't know where I was going. But I've got a lot of back-to-back conventions coming up so it is going to be busy 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 for me um i've got some extra goodies that i'm going to be adding into my patreon we have a new patreon member beth thank you so much thank you for joining um i appreciate you that was half a heart in case you didn't notice i don't know how to do is that how you do it welcome back i don't know how to do that i mean anyways uh <laughs> heart beth Right, Beth. I'm going to stop rambling because I don't know what I was going to talk about, but I love your faces so much. I appreciate you being here. Go check out some more videos if you're new. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a little comment because that helps us, helps us get noticed by the algorithm and look for some new designs. Oh, oh, I know what I was going to say. I know what I was going to say. <laughs> I was gonna say a lot of my content is gonna I'm start I'm I'm sorry. I'm waving I'm waving scissors at you. I'm so sorry. Anyways, a lot of my content is gonna be um 
cons, con crunch, a couple of crochet videos and things like that. But I figured in my reels, I could show you more of the behind the scenes in the, um, all that good stuff. So, um, jump over to my TikTok, jump over to my Instagram. Um, if you want some more content as far as, uh, day to day activities, because that's where they're going to be. Because I, at this point, I've got so much booked that I can't really do two videos a week feasibly. If I get an extra video in, you know, great, 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 great. It'll probably go for my Patreon. But, um, yeah, I'm probably down to one video a week for right now. Because I have got to go and make that money, man. Uh, <laughs> so Love is crazy. I'm going to stop talking. I love your faces. I will see you in the next video, which is going to be Ichiban Con. Um, and it is going to be an interesting one. I can tell you that right now. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, thank you. Bye.